It's been much more in the West where the shift has occurred conceptually, where the kind of policing of disinformation or the transparency and advocacy around it switched to from targeting the most powerful actors to essentially targeting everyday people. That's linked to the massive amount of infrastructure that was built up during the war on terror that then became kind of countering violent extremism, which then got hijacked to counter populism and essentially got directed towards everyday people. That's why it's in Australia, the Department of Home Affairs, which is a counter-terrorism unit, are dealing with an account with only 20 followers. Like, what is that doing? Why does it need to be doing that? It's completely off mission, at least based on the kind of outline that it gives to the general public. But internally, there was a massive cultural shift where this became acceptable that was driven by progressives. But it was started by neocons, the left, the people who were most suspicious of the war on terror and the various agencies that became extremely bloated under that banner have now signed up to be part of it.